the glycemic index. And there's also something called the glycemic load, which most don't either understand or have never been really explained how, what the importance is and how it works. And I'm going to make it very simple. So the glycemic index is a level of sugars or the amount of effect it can have on the, the system. So for instance, a table sugar may have a glycemic index of 100. Uh, cooked carrots may have a glycemic index of 105. So yes, that's cooked carrots. That's correct. They have a higher glycemic index or close to than the table sugar. Now what we we don't understand or what we're not really told is the glycemic load. It's like, well, Dr. Cosmese, what's the difference between the glycemic index and the glycemic load? The glycemic load is the, the actual load placed on the endocrine system to process those sugars. So, for example, a product, let's say a white potato, can have a high glycemic index and also has a high glycemic load. But we can go to a product like the coconut sugar that has a medium glycemic index and a very low glycemic load. So you see that's really information that we can use. So does a diabetic have to stay away from all sugars? Not necessarily. It's the high load sugars or the high, or excuse me, the actual low nutritional value sugars that they need to avoid. So once we figure out this information, we can then apply it and make a huge difference in not only your overall health, but also getting those numbers uh, better under better, better control and getting you under more control so you can make a real difference in, in a type 2 diabetic resolving the condition entirely and a type 1 diabetic reducing medications up to 80%. And again, the focus isn't on just your blood sugar reductions. The focus on is improving your health. If your health is improved, your blood sugar will improve. You can't have high blood sugar or be a diabetic and also be healthy. It, it doesn't exist. You can control numbers and play that symptomatic game. But as far as really being healthy, we have to take control. And I'm here to make sure you have accurate ethical information to allow you to do just that. Hope this is helpful.